Hey guys, uh, this is uh, not quite going to be a shave video yet, although I need it, but I, uh, I had some questions regarding uh, what, how, to, how to basically uh, treat a new brush. And uh, yeah, just kind of thought uh, since <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a, uh, a new brush, the uh, Sterling Soap Company uh, Bore. And uh, quite a stiff one, might I add. Uh, yeah, what do I do uh, once it's out of the package? This has just gotten out of the package. I haven't uh, done anything to it yet. So I just wanted to show you what I do when I receive it. Uh, right now it doesn't smell all too funky. Um, so we shall see uh, <laughs> what happens once I get it wet. Uh, <laughs> Right, well, the thing is, or one of the more important things, when you get it and it is dry in this state, I know it's tough, I know you want to play with it, but don't. The bristles are dry, um, they're very stiff, and they can get damaged when you splay it or, you know, just overly exert any force on it in this dry state. So what we want to do is we want to get it wet. Now, if you uh, just wait a second, uh, I have a, a glass here, which I'm going to fill with basically lukewarm water and a drop of Dawn. Hold on a sec. All right, so all I've done is I filled this glass with, uh, yeah, basically lukewarm water. Um, that's about all it needs. Uh, if it's comfortable for you, uh, if you think about it, very simple rule. This is a natural hair brush. Yes, it is bore. But um, think about it as natural hair, at, like your own. If it's comfortable for your head, it's probably comfortable for your brush. So basically all I do is I add, uh, you know, just one or two drops. Uh, that was three of Dawn. Um, the only reason I'm adding this is to take away some of the, um, the water uh, tension. I think is, is what you call it and then all I'm gonna do is just kind of mix it around a little bit here so and I'm gonna uh, probably gonna have to dump some of the water because I do not want to soak the knot or I want to soak the knot and not the handle now this is a plastic handle it's probably gonna gonna live right through it but uh, nonetheless, so as you can see, it's right up there, basically at the knot. You want to take it just down a little bit more. All right. This thing just displaces quite a bit. So this is about as high as I'm gonna gonna take it. And the only thing I'm gonna do is just uh, basically just kind of dunk it a little bit. I'm gonna I'm having to get used to um, holding this up so you guys can see. And all I'm trying to do is get some of the, or, you know, basically all of the bristles wet. And uh, that's how we're going to let it sit. Um, the reason I'm doing this is the brush was manufactured. Uh, so on a production floor where this was probably made, be it a small shop, be it a large shop, it's not necessarily a, a, a super clean environment. There's always dust flying around and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you just want to get some of that production stuff, dust, whatever is in there, uh, out of the brush. Uh, especially since most of the brushes are, you know, uh, come out of China, they have to be treated against uh, certain pests and all that kind of stuff to be imported. You just want to get get rid of all that that kind of gist that's in that brush. And uh, yeah, that's the reason why you wash it in the beginning. We, I only wash it once it's soaked, once it has taken up some, some water and the bristles are more pliable, and then we can, uh, we can work it some without uh, da damaging or possibly damaging the brush. Now, this is just my take on it. What you do, uh, it's your brush. You can do with it what you want, but it's, uh, it's just what I do. And uh, I don't break it in uh, in any kind of expedited uh, cycle or anything like that. I break it in by using it. So I can already take that one away uh, for later. 
And uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. I'm fixing to hit the shower and get the shave ready. And then uh, I'll be back. All right. See you later. Okay, and we're back. Just got out of the shower. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that felt good. Um, anyway, so this has been soaking for, let's say, about 15 minutes, roughly. And as you can see, it's uh, already starting to fill that glass a little more. And uh, all I want to do is just kind of swish around a little bit of the, uh, the water. As you can see here. Just kind of getting it through there, getting it worked in. Yeah, look at that. All right. As you can see, this uh, milky stuff wasn't in there before, was it? So, <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to wash these. All right, so all I'll do is just uh, down the drain, and then what we'll do is uh, proper rinse. Now, like I said, again, uh, not overly hot water, lukewarm, if it's comfortable for you, it's comfortable for your brush. And uh, we just kind of rinse it out. And all I'm doing here, I'm just holding this up, and it's just kind of splaying through a little bit, you know, I'm not overly exerting any force, I'm just trying to, trying to get the water through it. Swishing it around a little bit in in the in, in the water, so you know, not exerting any force. And then just rinsing out the glass that I have this in. All right, so we'll leave a good bit of that water in there because basically, you now all I do is take a, uh, something to lather in and uh, I'll just put some Dawn in there a little bit more this time nice little droplet and uh, just get the brush wet and then we'll lather up some Dawn and I don't know if you guys can see this just kind of swishing it around and I'm not by any stretch pressing down on it. I just want to, you know, the tips. I just want to get some lather in the brush. As you can see, just kind of some lather in the brush. Now this is quite wet. So. Mm, I'm just trying to find the angle. Okay, yeah, we'll clean that up later. So. Yeah, all you want to do is just kind of lather it up a little bit so the brush can take up some of that dawn. And this is what it looks like, nothing fancy. And then we'll just kind of work that on our hand, just, just a palm lock lather. And by now you will, at least this one, is starting to, to give a little. The, the uh, bristles are starting to splay a little. It's not as stiff anymore, and you can uh, you can tell that uh, it's it's starting to get pliable. So this is what it looks like. Just kind of working that in and squeezing it out and working it in again. And like I said, I'm I'm not really pressing down hard. I'm just trying to trying to get the lather through the the brush here. So. Nothing fancy. And then you squish it out again. And there come the first hairs. And this is no this is normal. Because when they uh, when they make these knots, there's always gotta be a couple that don't really gl get glued down very well. Or a little short and just stick it in the middle of the brush. And then we'll rinse it out a little bit at least. Pull up the stragglers. And you will have some 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 losses during the first couple of shaves and, and test lathers. As long as it's not too much, uh, it's usually not nothing to worry about. We'll rinse it out. 
flick out some of the water and it will go back in here and lather up again. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is a little bit messy and it is a little bit time consuming, but your brush will thank you later. I mean, you're, you, want, you want to have this brush for as long as possible, so, you know, spending a little bit of time in the beginning, I, I don't think is wasted time. So as you can see, plenty of lather in there again. And kind of just work it through and splay it out a little bit not too much all right and here come the next ones <laughs> yep and then rinse thoroughly like I said, uh, lukewarm to, to, you know, getting a little co cooler uh, on the water. That way uh, it doesn't lather up as much. <laughs> and get that water right through the, the, the bristles, you know, just kind of from the top. Then squeeze it out. Make sure that the dawn is, is, is out as good as possible. All right, that'll be it with the dawn. Now, if you've got a, pardon me, if you've got a, a, a brush that is a little bit more funky. Uh, this one's got a little bit of funk to it. So, what I have here in this mug, soaking, is just the... Uh, the regular Williams mug soap. I can get this uh, at the uh, local Ingalls for $1.29. And uh, it's just what we need. Now, I can't get this stuff to lather and, and, and shave with, you know, if, if my life was depending on it. But uh, for brush cleaning purposes, it is fantastic. Oops, and it fell out. And I had it soaking. So, you know, to, to be able to lather it up a little bit better. And all we do is just uh, take out the water. Get a little bit of water in the brush. As you can see, it's not, oh, well, there we go, it's dripping a little. And then we start lathering up. And using the mug soap basically prevents you, in a mug, in an appropriate mug, prevents you from pressing down too hard. <laughs> so all you're doing is working the tips. I'm working here. Yeah, scrubbing around on that on that puck. And you know it's it's coming up with a lather. It's coming up with a nice lather too. But it's all all airy and fluffy and you know, like I said I can never really get this stuff to to work properly now Todd Todd F has a uh, has a method to get this thing going and uh, I might have to talk to him about that but that's not the topic today the topic is how to work in a brush uh, this is like I said a brand new brush and we got a nice little lather going here. You know, kinda, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see here. There we go. There's a little bit of lather left in there. Most of it's on the brush here. And then all we do, palm lather. And just kind of work it. Paint it. Rub it a little, and like I said, I'm not I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just working the tips. Start working it out. It's coming up with a quite an impressive lather here. Oh 
Why doesn't this ever happen when I need it to shave? Mm. Oh well. So, you know, just keep working at it. Oh. Who would have thought? No. <laughs> Anyway, this is just uh, for uh, cleaning purposes, and you can you can start feeling the uh, the brush start to give more and more. The bristles are starting to starting to soften up a little bit. Now it's still got some scratch to it. You know, it's like I can I can still feel them poking in there. So this this brush is going to take a little while to really get nice and soft. And I mean, my Samog I think broke in in three weeks. The uh, the Balea men, the cheapy, uh, that took a little longer. Those bristles were were not quite as fine, and as you can see, yeah, there's more stragglers coming out. Can I never get this kind of quality when I'm wanting to shave? Hmm. Beautiful leather. Maybe I should try the palm lather lather lathering method the next time and then just kind of use it from here on. <laughs> so, oh well. Alright. Down the drain it goes. Because basically this is still part of the, uh, the rinsing cycle. I'm just trying to get some of the funk out and break this brush in a little bit. So I've rinsed most of it off. It's nice and wet. And as you can see, the brush is starting to splay out a lot nicer. And I just kind of, all I do is just kind of work it in there carefully. And I'll just kind of massage it a little bit. Get rid of all the stragglers. I'm not pulling, I'm just trying to see if there's anything to pick up. So, yeah, sorry. Alright, and that's about it. And then rinse it thoroughly. You want to get that all out of there. Plenty of water. Don't let any of the uh, the suds sit like like some people suggest. You can break it in quicker by letting the the lather sit in the brush. You can do it, sure, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to take any chances. Uh, like I said, everybody has his own method, and I'm not claiming in any kind of way that my method is right. Um, by no means am I an expert on brushes or anything like that, but um, just looking at vintage brushes, you know, how they, uh, how you sometimes get them, you know, you, you see them when they have that hooked end, when they're kind of uh, bent over. This is because they were sitting in that mug for years on end and uh, with the soap on them and yeah I don't know would you like to have shampoo sitting on your head to get them softer I don't think so more rinsing but a good bit of the funk is out of there that Williams works out great. Um, it's got that uh, artificial citrus scent, kind of urinal puck style scent that people sometimes call it. Um, I don't necessarily see the resemblance there quite, but uh, it does smell a little bit artificial. But nonetheless, yeah, uh, it takes care of funk fairly well. And if you, uh, you know, if, if you still smell a strong smell, do this uh, two or three times. Uh, let it dry, let it just kind of air dry. You know, shake it out. Let it sit overnight, let it dry out, uh, do the same thing tomorrow, soak it in just regular lukewarm water 
and then lather up uh, the, the Williams again and or whatever soap you prefer uh, for that matter and then just kind of you know work it in work that lather get it through the bristles and uh, after two or three times guaranteed the funk should be gone so yeah that's pretty well what I do when I have a new brush and uh, this is what it looks like now starting to starting to splay out nicely uh, yeah it still has got it still has uh, some some you know uh, prickly feel to it but uh, that'll wear off in two or three weeks it'll start getting softer uh, and then uh, maybe a month or two you'll have a fantastic brush and it just takes that time uh, in that time the, the, your brush will develop its own character and uh, yeah you'll learn to love it like I do my Samoan and my other one so looking forward to breaking this in uh, you will see it a little more often on the videos from now on just in order to break it in and yeah let's uh, let's see how this story goes All right guys uh, I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll keep you updated and uh, thank you for watching All right uh, I'll be back for a shave here soon alright thanks bye